Hi, this is Deep Lusinski, and I wanted to share an experience I had with you while selling this home you see here at 429 Lake Drive. We had the home under contract, and the inspection was complete, but the buyers had some concerns. When the inspection report came back, we found that neither of the upstairs jacuzzis were working, the propane fireplace wouldn't light, the smoke detector and the thermostat in the apartment were both not working, the heater in the upstairs bathroom looked like it had been burned, they could not locate the propane tank, they could not locate the septic tank, and there was low water pressure to the house overall. Now typically, a list like this in our area would take weeks to schedule. We'd need two or three different contractors, an electrician, a plumber, the propane company. Um, weeks and thousands of dollars, if they show up at all. I mean, it can be very difficult to schedule contractors because the good ones are so very busy. So I went up to take a look and see what I could figure out on my own. This is the uphill jacuzzi. The one that looks out the window up the side of the mountain, upstairs, and it's working. This is the jacuzzi that looks downhill, off down to Lake Drive, and it does work. The problem is the plug. This outlet here does not work. Um, I think it's just the GFI because this light's not coming on. It could be the outlet itself, I don't know, but when we used an extension cord, to plug it in to a different outlet, the tub just works fine. So it's your power source for this one. Propane fireplace is working. I just had to bleed the pilot. Smoke detector is just missing a battery. I'll replace it. This is in the apartment. see here it says low battery so we're gonna replace the batteries all right we replace the batteries and we set the heat to 76 and we can start to hear water there's there's, there's glycol moving in the pipes but this thermostat does work Here's the heater in the bathroom. It does have some black marks, but it's certainly not bad. And all of the all of the coils are in there are intact. Can't see it, but that's not abnormal, I don't think. So I was able to locate the propane tank just by walking around and looking for it. But the septic tank was more of a problem. Septic tanks, of course, are buried. And this one, we couldn't find. You couldn't find it just by walking around. So I pulled out my divining rods, or dowsing rods, like you would use to witch a water well. But water's water. So I went in the house, turned on one of the faucets. So there's water running through these pipes. And sure enough, those divining rods pinned that septic line immediately. And you can see here that the lines are crossed, um, showing me that I'm following a line and that there's water below me. But just watch carefully and as I get to the tank itself, they will go completely horizontal, telling me that I am at the main source of water. see right here as I come down the hill boom there you go they're completely horizontal there's your septic tank now here's where it's important who did you call who did you list your house with are we gonna wait three weeks and pay 750 bucks to get this tank uncovered not when you listed with me uh, it's a Sunday afternoon and I've got a shovel there it is, right there. Okay, so I'm not completely stupid. And this is the biggest septic tank I have ever seen. So I called in some reinforcement and some muscles. And it took us the better part of three hours to dig this sucker out. 
but it's ready for inspection. We were looking at having to delay it. No delays, we got it done. The septic was fine and we moved on and uh, didn't have to pay for it. That's a big septic tank. But of course it's a six bathroom house too. So we did at one point end up having to call a plumber because the water pressure to the house was low. That's something I didn't understand. They fixed it. I helped facilitate that. The plumbers did a great job and we moved to closing. And so when your sellers are a thousand miles away and your buyers are a thousand miles away, you need somebody on the ground that can figure this stuff out. That's why you call D. Have a great day.